Mia Michaels is recognized as one of America's best contemporary choreographers. Dance is everything to me. It's how I express who I am. Celebrities from Gloria Stefan to Madonna have commissioned Mia for their tours. She's currently nominated for an Emmy for Celine Dion's Vegas show, A New Day. Right from the start, she has reservations about one of the contestants' abilities. With Alan, I'm, I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to cut it uh, physically or technically with, with the work I give him. It doesn't matter how big you are as long as you don't see the bigness when you dance. If you see the bigness, then you're too big. I'm just crossing my fingers and praying that I don't hurt myself and that I get through this day, you know, as easy as possible. Mia is also worried about another contestant's fashion sense. All I saw was fishnet and things and sparkles to my right. That's the wrong approach. I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing, so as long as I'm comfortable, then, you know, I'll be able to dance and do my best. One and two, three and four and five, and seven and eight. In Mia Michaels' class, Jessica Schaefer is a professional dancer from Atlantic City. Yeah! She first auditioned for us in Chicago. This dancing is just pours out of me. I definitely have passion for this. This is something that I want to do. I think that you can see that in my movement, choreography, or just freestyle. She doesn't do any of the choreography. She was doing all her own choreography or whatever. It was all freestyling stuff that I would like, what are like what are you doing? Like <laughs> now you're just not doing the choreography at all. Now you know what I mean? This experience for me is just overwhelming. You know, although maybe today isn't, you know, pick up the strongest, that I'm the type of person that will work. I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. Focusing is all important this week. And in Mia's class, Burgundy has a secret weapon to help her concentrate. I got my rubber band today. And it's just all about snapping back. Making sure you get focused, snap back. Come back to one, you know? Burgundy was someone the producers had a lot of confidence in when they put her through in Los Angeles. But today, she's off to a bumpy start. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three. Burgundy has had a little bit of a hard time with the movement today, uh, but she's like, like a wild girl. Like when she does her jump, she's like, ah! And she walks off. She's like, like she wants to like beat someone up. That doesn't fly anymore. It used to be cool to growl and to have all those faces. It's so not anymore. <laughs> I thought she was going to break her hand today when she, when she hit the floor, when she messed up. She has the facility, but she doesn't have strength and she doesn't have technique. But she has that fire, man. She's just, she wants it. But I think so bad that it, it hurts her. I lost it and then I got it by myself and I just lost my nerves. Everything's going to be okay. Hopefully they saw the talent beforehand. I'm tired. I'm exa exhausted. You let your nerves get the best of you every time, every time, every time, every time you get the nerves. Don't ask me a question, please don't. You do it perfect every time. Then you come to this point and you mess up every time. Just relax. Go back in there. Finish the class. Also in Mia's class is Yesenia. She auditioned with her fiance, Rodrigo, in Los Angeles. She has gotten through and you haven't. That's okay. okay. I'm sorry. Okay, no Rodrigo, problem. would you leave the stage for us a moment? Thank you. <laughs> so now she's here alone. But what she doesn't know is that because Anthony Foster left, Rodrigo has been asked to rejoin the competition. Go do it. Let's go do this. Yesenia seems to be out there. She's already eating, and I can't wait to go out there and surprise her. Hi. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> How are you?
That was such a big surprise seeing Rodrigo here. I had no idea. Yeah, oh my God, you guys are awesome. <laughs> But it's the least experienced dancer who's causing problems for the choreographers. I, every time I look over there, she was like doing something. I, I don't know what she was doing. Now it just comes up and around. Circle it. Now let your left arm come up. People were telling me that um, lyrical was more ballet, so I was expecting a lot of technique. So initially that kind of freaked me out because I don't have any. She was saying that she would rather see us feeling it than have it be perfect. I'm most worried about Cheryl. She's not, she's not getting it. She, I mean, she's, she's faking her way through it, but no. I think I did a lot better today than I did yesterday. <laughs> I don't know how much training she's had, none. She's a lot of work, <laughs> lots and work, lots and lots of work. I think I did pretty well for myself. I think I'd rate myself like, I'd rate myself like a seven. Mm, not, no. I mean, I guess zero is being a little harsh. I would say one. I think I absolutely have a chance at winning this competition. Yeah, she's, she's just, no. You know, there are some things that people are great at. I do believe I'm great at dancing. So she's in denial. <laughs> <laughs> I just believe that I do have a lot of work and this week is really going to train me extremely hard. And I'm ready to, I'm so ready for it. I'm totally ready to take the challenge. Absolutely. So, yeah. In Mia's room, someone was making a good impression. I mean, I'm loving it. Every minute of it. She's so amazing. I love moving like that. I love her movement. Hey, Blake, can I see you do by yourself? I would be intimidated by Blake if I was any of these dancers here. He can be employed now. <laughs> I hope that when they look at him dance, I hope that they learn what things are supposed to look like. Dancers can learn more from watching someone like Blake than actually learning from me. You fill my heart with joy. Mia liked inner feelings and used them in their performance. But no one was expecting Blake to go as deep as he did. Blake, Blake. let it out. It was so emotional that it began to affect everyone in the room. It's been an emotional day in Mia's class. But Casper isn't too sure about her philosophy. Human first, artist second, dancer third. Because dancers tend to hide behind steps and hide behind dance, opposed to allowing their true artist to come through. And that, when you let your true artist come through, that is what sets you apart from everybody. What's your essence? What's your voice? That's what I'm interested in. She kind of did some stuff, having us just kind of just move with the music, whatever we were feeling. People started crying. Everybody was bawling. I was like, eh. And it was just whoosh. So was a little deep for me, a little over my head. I don't know what everybody was crying about, but uh, hey, if they had a great experience, all the better for them. It, I just, whoosh. Yeah. That was good. <laughs>